what was that like figuring out that you had just discovered pulsars? I had a very, very big radio telescope. It was very, very sensitive, but I got used to identifying these quasars. I got used to identifying radio interference. The advantage of interference is that it's terrestrial, it's Earth-based, whereas the quasars that I'm meant to be observing are up in the sky. And so I could track the quasars because they came four minutes earlier every day. But along with the quasars, there was a little bit that looked like interference, except it kept its place amongst the stars, came back four minutes earlier every day. And when we scrutinized it, it turned out to be this string of pulses. So it's going blip, blip, blip. So if it's Joe Doke driving down the road in a badly suppressed car, after work. Joe Doke is getting off work four minutes earlier a day, 28 minutes a week. What does Joe Doke's employer think of that? <laughs> you know, the Joe Doke argument didn't really work very well. Nothing terrestrial worked very well. It's something up in the sky. 